Well, Enzymet is a study that was uh, designed in the uh, Australia, New Zealand uh, area and was open across multiple international sites um, and was selected for the plenary session, whereas Titan was not. And one of the questions about this is uh, whether there's a difference between the design that would lead uh, one to be chosen over the other. And my speculation is that it has to do with the fact that uh, Enzymet allowed concurrent docetaxel use. And about 40% of the patients had planned docetaxel. Whereas in Titan, it was only about 10% of the patients had docetaxel and they were not given concurrently. So Titan had a more difficult time really addressing the issue of whether docetaxel and next generation uh, androgen targeted therapies have any interaction. Whereas Enzymet seems to suggest, in subset analyses at least, that there's uh, maybe an interaction between uh, docetaxel and enzalutamide. Uh, what interaction? Well, if you look at subgroup analyses, uh, the overall survival benefit seems to be attenuated in the group that got docetaxel and enzalutamide. Um, whereas uh, in the patients who didn't get docetaxel, the survival benefit seemed much more dramatic. So we need uh, more prospective studies to really address this question. But one of the things that we don't know is whether we should sequence drugs like chemotherapy and next generation androgen targeted therapies uh, or whether we should give them concurrently to get the maximal benefit.